Greetings, my friends. This is Gilles Mancillon. I wanted to come and wish you a good day for Spirit. I didn't ask me to, to st speak today until now. And so I was, they let me paint the whole day. So I thought I'd come and say hello and discuss, sorry, and discuss a few ideas. First is that the truth, the truth will, it, it will be very painful to realize. There is so much dark truth that will be revealed that will, that will be very, very painful for people to, to accept and even for us. To accept, but then it will liberate us. Once we accept the truth, it is a liberating principle. For this matrix we've been living on is a matrix that's been uh, reality is is a, is a reality that's been hijacked by reptilian and all kinds of negative uh, extraterrestrials, and everything is ruled from the top from some, some sympathizer, human sympathizer. But all of that will is, is going to be is is about to end, and so the, but the truth needs to be coming up, so nobody can prevent the truth from being revealed, from coming out. All, tr the all truths will be coming out. When I talk about truth, I'm not, there is only one truth, the truth of God that only God knows. But I'm talking about facts, the, the fact of, the, of such and such. And all of it will be coming. So right now what is going on is there is a metamorphosis with being transformed. It is an inevitable, it is a sure thing. The more we are tuning, the more inner work we've done, the faster and the easier the process will come. But it is inevitable that we are being transformed from within. And it's all according to our faith, to, to, to his or our faith. Because the more, the more faith and trust we have, the more protection we will get through the process. Those who do not have faith will be even more, much more painful. Those who do, so it's like the, the faith is tested right now to see to, before it actually comes in. So we can, everybody can be in, in his maximum, optimum um, state of, of, of beingness when the, the, the great shift happened. But um, what is important is letting go of all the dark, the heavy, the impure, holding on to all that is good, that is that makes us feel good, that uh, that is the truth, that is the, connected to our soul and our creator, and to be curious of the spiritual realm, to be curious of, to remember our origin, our creator, our source, for that, this source, this creator is infinitely richer than anything that we can ever dream of. The truth of God is infinite, infinite. there is no limit. So there are wonders, and every time we move to a step, we discover that wonder, moving from third to fourth dimension, from fourth to fifth, from fifth to sixth, etc. So there is always new truths to be revealed, but every time, so just be in the joy and the, the celebration of being in this new plateau that is coming. For it is like uh, we, we, we surround our freedom, our joy, our abundance, our security, our, our status, our life life, uh, a true life in the eternal realm of the creator when we chose to incarnate down here but now to, to become uh, enslaved into this metric, but now we, we're returning to this point of freedom, this point of truth, and more and more there are millions of people that are awakening each and every day. So I hope um, this message was interesting for you, so I come and, and say hello, I'm, I'm working on my paintings but I realize I cannot rush the painting. Sometimes it's like I think it's finished, but sometimes it takes a little while, and then I see a transcendent or something transcendent, all that makes it happen. And so that may even happen for those landscapes. I thought they were finished, but um, but I can, we cannot. It, it cannot be rushed. It's like artists that have to rush for an exhibition is like they're lacking something to because they need to produce something in the deadline. It's like art happens in its own time, in its own uh, way. I'm gonna pull a card, an oracle. For the day, mine was flexibility, and today's reparations. For, for it's, it's be prepared to, to bring things back into balance, your own energy, your own life, and even the world will need uh, will need to be balanced out. Well, I finished the painting. It is a very simple painting, and I'm doing a lot of experimentation. They're all drying up, but this one I think is I really like it. It just says love, wisdom, and power. I'm going to sign it in beige on the bottom. And it's very simple, and there is little, pretty little details, like there is a castle here. <laughs> it's like can't really see it from here, but and uh, so I, uh, I really just thought I share that. I, I, I've been able to sign this one. It is signed here very discreetly, and uh, the points were the, the little dots went in silver. It's a yellow dragon. There's all kinds of little details in that. This one is called the event, or the scene. I called it the event. It's like, and also I signed it in gray here. And uh, it's kind of a, it's like part of a dream state painting, dream, 
that the, the different i'm always trying to renew myself because a lot of artists they find one thing that is uh, that is popular and then they do that all their life but to me it's quite boring it's like you have to take a chance and renew yourself do different things so always this one is a is an easel upside down i'm not really sure yet it's but it's a uh, it's already pretty dynamic i'm not really sure there's all kinds of details that will be uh, can't really see it from here but uh, the camera is not precise enough but uh, it will unfold, and, and my landscapes, I, they, they, they have those two here, they, they're kind of nice, but they're not transcendental yet, except for the mountains and the sky, they, they still need something that needs to happen with the trees. I'm not going to touch on the mountains, the mountains are just good enough, but it's, it's the forefront, still needs a bit of work. Well, I'm going to finish with the song. I thank you very much for liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing, from holding on to, to those things that which you know is your truth and to continue to cultivate, to open yourself to the love of the Creator. We have, we have created so many barriers, so many limitations, so many doubts, so many fears, so many shields to prevent us from, from being ex exposed to the dark matrix, but we do not want to prevent ourselves from feeling this eternal love of the One, of the Source. I'm going to finish with a, a song and, and pull a few out. Uh, our records from the angels it's an old song it's it's a i think it was newson the author of that song it's called amazing grace it goes like this amazing grace how sweet the sound that saved the wretch like me I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. T'was grace that taught my heart to feel. And grace my fears relieved How precious did that grace appear The hour I first believed When we've been there ten thousand Bright shining as the sun With no less days To sing God's praise Than when, when we first begun Beautiful song, how precious did that grace appear, the hour I first believed. So it's really, as soon as we believe, that everything comes into alignment. And so keep keep your faith strong, do not doubt yourself, do not doubt your creator, and uh, all will go well. And there's so much that is about to change and metamorphose, the, the whole thing, it's going to happen step by step, of course, but uh, let us get ready. For the, the observer is a reconciliation. We need to reconcile ourselves with ourselves, with life, with, with the world, with, <laughs> with uh, there's so many reconciliations with our past uh, and all that. The, the highest wisdom is departing. The, there is a move that is going on, a great move, the big move that is going on. It is the, the wisdom light is to be ready for that move. Well, well, as soon as the door opens, what we need to understand is success, is victory. What we need to do is renewal. It's a renewal, a brand new beginning to start to be ready for a new beginning. And the outcome will be rest and relaxation. It will be vacation, rest, relaxation. We're going to be, um, during this whole storm that is coming, we, we may very, very well be an, an, under, uh, under uh, an umbrella uh, on, on, a, on a clear beach with a beautiful sunshine, huh? emotionally, I mean and uh, figure, or, or figuratively or materially even so what does victory mean the victory means destiny fulfilling our destiny what is it we want to achieve we want to achieve creation to hold the globe of creation to become the creator of our life to, to be able to create this beautiful life for ourselves in 
in alignment with our soul and spirit who are no they know so much better and so we want to align and the, had, what assist us on the way to victory is truthfulness so it's, it's about being a, to sign on self be true huh? for Shakespeare said in Hamlet if you if you are true to yourself you cannot be untrue to anybody else so be true to yourself and and, and remain that truth remain that um, be um, and be attuned to whatever your guidance is. Learn from every experience. When you make a mistake, learn from it. And then you, you don't need to blame yourself or judge yourself for making the mistake. If you've learned something, then the mistake was something that was kind of positive because we, 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 we acquire this wisdom by failure. We don't, the success is wonderful. The success is like, it deserves this success. But, but it, it's the product of many, many failures, many, many errors, many, many uh, stumbling. Uh, it's part of the process. Those who have never stumbled, who have never fell, they, they haven't really uh, achieved anything. You can't really achieve something of value without a certain effort. So we're working on it. I wish you a wonderful day. Thank you very much, and I'll talk to you later. Salut.